quick tip for today. Um, when you're working on a project of this size, um, it's super important to try and stay organized. Um, what works for me is uh, as I'm taking things apart, I begin to put them in labeled bags. Uh, I usually pick up colored sandwich bags as it's easier to see what I'm writing, um, but it doesn't really matter. If there's a particular orientation of bolts or nuts, um, I'll make that notation on the bag or draw a little diagram if it looks complicated. Uh, of course, taking pictures and videos along the way um, will also aid you in seeing how it all should go back together. Uh, it doesn't matter how good you think your memory is or how long you've been doing this. Taking pictures is just good practice and in insurance. Um, another thing I like to do is just uh, thread the bolts back into their locations. Uh, this just depends on if threading the bolts would cause an obstruction or not, um, if you're still working in that particular area. So I don't do it all the time. Uh, once I have a section of the car or engine finished, I'll put all these plastic baggies into a larger clear stackable bin um, and then label the bin. I like the clear bin so I can easily see what's in there even though I'm labeling it. Uh, for example, I've finished the hot side of the RB26 teardown, so all of that is going into its own bin. Then when I do the cold side and accessories, that'll have its own bin and so on. I picked up these uh, storage bins for literally $1 at the dollar store with the lid. Um, so yes, clear bins, taking pictures, stay organized, and stay sane. I'll uh, catch you guys later.